Welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back in another video. In this video, we will learn how to integrate native AdMob ads in our Flutter application. So this is our application and here you can see we are getting all the data with that uh, image and row and that description part. And the same way after that fourth row, we are getting the ads here and you can see here the look and feel of the ad is as per our application. So the main purpose of native ads are to match the UI of our ads with our application. So that's all what we are going to learn in this video. So before starting the video if you are new to our channel subscribe the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos thank you So this is a package which we are going to use in our application that is google underscore mobile underscore ads and this is the latest package which we are going to use in our application and we have already covered this package in our last video of that add more integration if you have not watched that video you can watch that video i will put the link in the description so here what we are going to cover is the native ads and these are the native ads which we are going to cover in our application and for doing that we have to modify our native code that is java or that swift but in this video we are going to cover only for that android that is for that java or that kotlin and in the next video might be we can cover that ios part also so let's jump to that code part This is our Flutter application and from here you can see we have that android folder and you have to copy this path by right click and we have to select here copy path and you have to open this path in our android studio and here we have opened that Android Studio and there we have opened that Android folder and here we will click that right click and here on that new and here we are going to click on that Android resource file and here we have to give the name of that resource file that is list underscore tile underscore native underscore add dot xml and here in that resource type we have to select here layout and the root element we have to put here com dot google dot android dot gms dot ads dot native ad dot native ad view and then we have to press here and ok so here in this file i am going to copy paste the code just to shorten that video so that it will not make the lengthy video and i will explain each and every line of that what i am doing here so here we have the layout here so what we are doing here we have that native ad view and here we have that layout width and height and the height and width we are matching with the parent and then we are putting here frame layout here and frame layout is just like the container in the flutter application and there we are just putting that layout width with match parent and the layout height we are matching with the parent and then we have text view here and it is same like the text visit in our flutter application and here we have the id here and we are providing the id name here and then we have our layout width and height here and we are using a wrap content and will be height and width will be on the basis of that content height and width then we have the background color here then we have the text here by default we are putting a add and the text color we are using a white color then we have the text size and we are using it 12 sp then we have our image view here and that will be same like a image visit in our flutter application and that will be used for showing that icon of our ad and here we are putting that name ad icon and here we are the width and height and we are using a 48 dp for our width and height also we are using a 48 dp then we have our layout gravity and that will be same like the alignment visit in our flutter application and we have here we are putting a center vertical image will be in the center vertical position then we are putting a margin here and we are putting a starting we are putting a 16 dp that means you can say with a left margin and then we have that left margin also we are putting a 16 dp then we have a scale type and we are using a fixed xy and then we have that background and we are using a this color then we have one text view here and that will be used for showing our title and here we are using a attribution large and that will be used for if our ad is showing in a large view then this text view will be used if ad is showing in a small then it will be show this text view and here we have that id here then we have our layout visit then we have our layout width and height then we have the gravity then we have the margin start and left then we have the background color here and we have the text color and the visibility we are by default making as a invisible then we have that linear layout and that will be almost same like any container here and we are putting a vertical orientation and here we have our layout with that width and height with the match parent and the height we are matching with that wrap content then we have the layout gravity and we are using a center vertical 
and the margin start we are using a 80 dp and the margin left we are using a 80 dp and for the margin end we are using a 16 dp and the margin right we are using also 16 dp and the orientation we are using a vertical and then we have the text view and that will be used for our title text and we are using a add headline and then we have the id here and we are using a tv underscore list underscore tile underscore native add headline then we have our layout width and height and we are using a wrap content then we have a clip and we are using and here so that will be used for dot 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 if that length of our text is more than the content width then we are putting a lines one that means we that text will be shown in the one line only and the max maximum line we are using one and the text color we are using a black and then we have that android text size and we are using a 16 sp in the tool text we are using a headline as a headline type of text will be shown here and same we are doing for the description part also and here we have that id here then we have our layout width and height then we have our eclipse and same way we are doing here also for the lines one and the maximum line one then we have the text color here that will be shown in this gray color then we have a text size and we are putting here 14 that will be lower than our headline text color and for the tool text we are using here body type so we are telling it this text view will be a type of body so now we will create one new file here and we will click here and on the new we will put here kotlin class file if you are using a java you can use a java file also but most of that uh, by default uh, flutter application it is providing the kotlin support so we are putting here kotlin class file and we are putting the path here so, and here we have to select that class here and we have to put the name here list tile native add factory and here also i will copy with the code and i will explain you what i am doing and here we have to put the package name and we are using a flutter underscore native add this is the package name so here we are getting some error here because we have not added our google map flutter package in our flutter application so let's add that package also so that it will not show any error and here we will go to a pub spec and here we will add so it will add the package here so now the package has been added so now let's see in our android studio so here we have to make sure we are using android sdk minimum version 19 so now the package has been added because we have we have to add the minimum sdk version as a 19 so if we go there in our kotlin file so now you can see all that error has been gone so now what we are doing here we have created one class here that is list tile native add factory and there we are just we are implementing that uh, native add factory here and there we are created one function here the name of the function is create native add and we are passing two parameter first in the native add and the second one is the custom options and here we are just picking that add view and add view we are picking as from our layout and this is the layout file which we have created if we go there and this is a layout file which we have created earlier then we have two variable first one is for the attribution of view small and that we are picking for the small text and the second one is for the large and then here we have the variable for our icon view and we are checking from the native ad if the icon is coming or not if that icon is not of null then we are just putting the visibility on the basis of that icon the attribution view small visibility is view visible and the attribute view large visibility will be invisible in case that icon is not null and in the case of the icon is null then we are just showing that last text here without any that uh, small text or icon then we are just assigning here icon view and here we have that our headline view here and there we are just assigning the text we are getting from our native ad that is native ad dot headline and we are just putting here this dot headline view is equal to headline view then for the body we are checking here if that body uh, view is exists in our layout or not then we are putting here text is equal to native body native ad dot body and visibility we are checking here if that native body is not of empty then we are just putting here view dot visible else we are putting here view dot invisible and then we are assigning here body view is equal to body view then we are just putting here set native ad is we are putting this native ad here in our set native ad then we are returning here native ad view so now we will modify our one more file that is main activity 
and here also we will create two functions i am just copy pasting that and we have to import our google map ads plugin and for doing that we have to click here add plus enter and we will get the import here and we have to import this one same we have to do for the flutter engine also so now what we are doing here we are just overriding our configure flutter engine and there we are just putting here google map ad plugin dot register native ad factory and we are just registering our list title and there we are just registering our this list style native ad factory and in the cleanup flutter engine also we are just removing this native ad factory and we are just unresting that one so now let's move to our flutter application so all this code is little bit complicated for those who have not have any exposure on the native application and all for that reason i will put this full source code in our github so that you can use that so now let's move to the flutter application So here in the Flutter application, I will create a new file here and we will name it as a native underscore ads underscore page dot dot file and I will make it as a stateful visit stateful native ads page and here we will create the object native ad at then we have to create few variables here first one is a boolean type of is add loaded is equal to false by default we will make it as a false that means the ad is not loaded then we have one variable for our ad index means that when we have to show that ad in our list so by default we are putting a four that means we have to show that native ad after the fourth row of our data and here we have static final underscore k add index is equal to four then we have the item list and we are using a list object item list is equal to and we will initialize it with the empty array and here we have override void initialize state super dot initialize state then we have our object here add is equal to native add and here we have to provide our add unit and we are doing a testing part so here we will put native add dot test add unit and then we have the factory id and that id will be the same id which we have created there in our android file and this will be named as a list tile so here if you go to our android folder and there in the app folder in the source main and kotlin folder you can see here the file name is list tile then we have the native add factory so we have to put here name as a list tile then we have to create the request here and we are putting in add request and this is our object for the add request then we have the listener here and we will put here native add listener and here we have on add loaded and this is the first listener and in this listener we have to set that state of our variable of that add loaded or not so if the add is loaded so then we will set the state as a true here set state and here we have is add loaded is equal to true that means the add has been loaded and then we have our second listener and we have that on add fail to load and here we have add error and here we have to dispose the add here add dot dispose and we will print the error here print add load fail and then we have the code here error dot code and then we have the message here message is equal to dollar error dot message then after that we will load the ad here underscore ad dot load and it will load the ad so now we will fill our array of data dummy data and for doing that and we will put here loop in type of i is equal to 1 then we have i less than 20 less than equal to 20 i plus plus and then we have to fill here item list dot add and here we have to put row and then we have to put here number index number so now here we will create the visit here and here we are using scaffold visit and here in the body we are using a list view dot builder and here we have the item count and we are putting a item list dot length plus underscore is add loaded is true and we will put here one else we will put here zero so we are checking here if the add is loaded then we will increase the array length with plus one else we will just put here zero then we have the item builder here and here we have the context index and here we are checking if add is loaded and index is equal to underscore k add index that means then we have to show here the add in the else condition we have to show our normal rows of our list view 
And for showing that ad, we have to put a return container. And here we have child and we are using a add visit and we are passing an ad with our underscore ad. And here the container height, we are using a 72. And then we have the, our alignment here and we are using a alignment dot center. And here in the else condition, we have to create one small function to cut the index to check if that is add index or normal index of our row. And for doing that, we have to create one small function and we are returning an end type of get destination item index. And here we have to pass that our row index. And here we will check if row index is more than equal to k add index and add is loaded. Then we will return here row index minus one. And here we will return row index. So what we are doing here, we are just passing the index of our row. And here we are checking here if that row index is more than equal to k add index that is four and add is loaded. Then we will return here row index minus one and we will return here row index. And here we have final item is equal to item list. And here we will get the index on the basis of that function underscore get destination item index. And here we will pass index and we will check and we will cast it as a string. And here we will return list style. And here we have the title here. And we are using a text visit. And we are passing an item here. And the style we are using a text style. And the font weight, we are putting here font weight dot bold. And then we have the subtitle here. And we are putting here dummy text as a test description. And here we have to show the image also, icon image. And we are using a leading. And here we will show image dot network. And here we will put that URL of our snippet coder. And here we will put that URL for our snippet coder logo. And here we will call dispose. So we can dispose the ads also. Void dispose. And here we have underscore ad dot dispose. And here we have super dot dispose. So now let's run the application to see is it working or not. So make sure we are testing the application in our real device because the ad will not display in our emulator. So we have to make sure we are using the real device. And here also we have to change the page and we have to map it with our native ad page. So now let's run the application. So here the application getting crashed because we forgot to add the main thing that is the Android manifest file. We have to modify to add our add more publisher ID over there and that we have to add the valid app ID inside the Android manifest. So once we add that the application will start working normally. And for doing that, we have to go here in that our Android folder. And there we have that Android manifest.xml. And here you have to add the metadata. And this value you can change with your proper app ID. So now let's rerun the application to see is it working or not. So here you can see data is coming here. So let's see why the ads is not coming. So here we are getting the error for that native ad factory with ID list style. So let's see what the issue is. So the issue seem to be we have to put the L in the lower case because we have that layout file in this way. Yeah. So now let's reload the application to see is it working or not. So here you can see ad is coming here. So it is coming after some time because ad is getting load the data from that server. So now you can see the look and feel of the ad is as per our application. So we can also change the look and feel. We can also change the look and feel here. And for doing that, we have to go to the layout folder. And from there in our list style native ad, we will click here. And here we can do anything we want to do. If we want to change the color, we, that also we can do. So instead of putting a black color, we can change it to some other color. So now we will change the color to this one. And let's reload the application to see is it working or not. So here you can see whatever color we have changed in our native ad. So it is coming reflecting our application. So in this way, you can change any of that customization in the native ads. So that's all in this video. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share. Let me know in the comment box section that uh, did you like this video or not. And follow me on Instagram, Telegram, Facebook or Twitter so that I can help you in case you stuck anywhere. So thank you all.